Okay, so the film is Bogies and Bass. It's a 15 minute um, narrative short film. Uh, I wrote and directed it. And, and I did the music. His name and is Giovanni, and my name is Thomas. And what is Actually, I'm the Giovanni, he's Thomas. <laughs> He but tries to solve it. I will confuse you by the end of this interview. He wanted to write. He wanted to write the music himself. That's the, that's the problem. And I wanted, and I wanted <laughs> Never to work with Thomas again. <laughs> he is horrible. He's just terrible. <laughs> See what I mean? Do you want to work with a guy like him? Um, okay, maybe I'll take that one. Um, the, the porgies and bass. Porgies are a type of fish. Bass, striped bass, are a type of fish. And the film is about two fishermen. One's a Latino fisherman and the other guy's kind of a local Long Island fisherman and it's about this skirmish that takes place one day on the beach as they're both fishing for their respective fish. The process of making the film, you know, the, the script gets written, we uh, went into production and made the film over three days, really long days on the beaches in, in Long Island um, and then we went into post-production. Once it's edited, once the film is edited, then you can start to think about the, the score and Giovanni here does the music so once I had a, a rough cut I think or a good rough cut I sent that to him and then he was able to start working on the score. Can you talk about the score? Sure. I, I think the, um, in the, main, the main challenge for the score was to try and heighten or, or, or support the, the drama that is in the, in, inherent in the story without giving it away too soon. There's always this tension because you, you don't want to leave the audience immediately into the drama of what's about to occur, but you want to somehow suggest it's there. It was very interesting, of course, the other very interesting aspect was the interaction between the natural sound of the ocean and the wind and the, and the sand with the music, which is always a very nice interplay, a very nice uh, you know, textual uh, counterpoint to, to work with. Right, because you don't want to sort of, you want the sound track to have moments of space that are natural and then you want the music to come in and support that and play together. You yeah. want to, you know, you don't want to overpower the natural, natural sound, which is so interesting in itself. So, you know, that's one aspect. Because Woodstock is a really, you know, great independent festival. Our film is not chock-a-block with major celebrities, you know, or stars. It's a sort of, you know, an interesting cutting-edge story, I think. And Woodstock was definitely one of the festivals I was really hoping to get into, so absolutely you know, over the moon to be here, frankly. Yeah. Ten minutes I've been here at Woodstock Film Festival. <laughs> it's been... And the three I have, it's been wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> we have to tell everyone's really Ask us in half great. an hour, you know. Um, I can tell already in the short time I've been here that it's a very welcoming, well-run, an intimate festival that seems to capture the, the feeling of the town and, and it, you know it's one of you just know you're at a good festival and as soon as you, you get, step in you know you do get a sense of that it's eclectic it's not pretentious but there is depth there is some you know there is some, there's, a, there's a specific vibe yeah, it's very definitely. few festivals have that an identity that that's you know leaps out uh, immediately and this seems to have it I, I, mm. we're, we're excited we are well, you know, there's, there's always the after party. Um, <laughs> you know, these Italians, they don't stop drinking. Um, um, yeah, and, and, and they're half Chinese too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking, no, to be serious, I'm looking forward to, I mean, I, of course I'm looking forward to the screening because we screened twice, we screened this evening. And just to, uh, this is the third uh, festival I think we've been in since we started the festival run. And just to see the audience reaction to me is the key, most interesting thing. That's why I'm here. Just to see, you know, gauge how people respond to various moments in the film, and you during know, and after, right? I mean, that's yeah, during and after. And you know, the questions you get asked or the comments that get made—they're really interesting to see for the filmmaker.